Hi, my name is Ashley, and today I'm going to be talking to you about eating disorders. So what are the first words that pop into your head when I say the word skinny? Do you think of models? Do you think of celebrities? Skinny is associated with pretty, with luxury, and being rich. But when did the word skinny start being a compliment? The idea of skinny being perfection can lead to something even more dangerous, an eating disorder. There are two main types of eating disorders. The first is anorexia, which leads its victim to eating less and less until eventually they eat nothing at all and they exercise extreme amounts. Bulimia is almost the opposite, where it lures its victim into eating huge quantities of food at a time, also known as binges, then self-vomiting to prevent digestion. Both deprive the body of all the nutrients it needs and it starts to shut down. Some think eating disorders can be controlled, that they're simply people being vain and they only care about looks. But in reality, they're mental health issues, just like depression or anxiety. Take my story. I'm skinny, and I know it. I'm only like 80 pounds. It's not an eating disorder, I'm just really fragile. But sometimes when I look into a mirror in the morning, getting dressed, and I start to think, wow, my thighs are getting bigger, and my stomach is not as flat anymore, why not? And then I think, oh, maybe I should start exercising more, maybe eating healthier, because I'm starting to get a little fat. And that's the magic word, isn't it? Fat, the thing everyone's afraid of. But then I shock myself back into reality. I'm 13 years old, I'm 20 pounds underweight, and I'm starting to think that I'm fat. How could this happen? But it's because the media is portraying skinny as beautiful. beautiful. They get celebrities that have perfect bodies that have been photoshopped to death. So join me in my fight to end eating disorders for your daughters, for your sons, nieces, nephews, and friends. Because right now, every one in 75 youths have an eating disorder, and around 15% of those will die. So help encourage your kids to love themselves for who they are, and not because what they look like. And help spread my love of beauty and my cause. Thank you for listening.